right, so I'm out here in the van and I just finished replacing one of the exterior handles on our sliding doors. We have managed to do break both of them and so I, we wanted to make sure to go ahead and replace those. Uh, the, the button on one side in particular as far as the mechanical operating opening and closing is very temperamental and doesn't always uh, work just right. Um, so the handle on that side in particular is the best way to open and close that door without having it on the automated door opener. So uh, once that one broke, I was like, okay, I definitely gotta get these fixed now. Uh, so I just finished on one side. I wanted to make sure I got one done first before I did any videoing. It actually went really smooth. Maybe I should have been videoing uh, because now we'll see how the other side goes and it may go smooth, it may not. We'll just have to wait and see now. Uh, but the others, the, this first side did end up going pretty smooth and I did pick up and learn a couple things on it um, just to hopefully that'll help the other side go just a little bit smoother. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to show you the finished uh, product on the door I just finished and then we will get started on working on the other side. Okay, so here is the new handle. It does not exactly match the old handle. The other handle on the front door, you can see, is burgundy with a chrome handle. Um, those are actually really difficult colors to find. Um, so what I what we ended up getting was just all black. It works pretty well. It still blends in pretty good. It goes with the color scheme of the vehicle still. Um, so, But it looks pretty good. And now both back doors will be the same. They'll both match. Um, so even though they won't match the front doors, they will match the back doors. So I'm going to go, go ahead and show you right now the putting on of the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and show you right now the putting on of the other side. All right, one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to pull out these four screws right here. They have nothing to do with actually taking this off, which will be the next step. Well, second to next step. But there is all the mechanism right in here is held in place by three bolts in here and these four bolts out here. So we can go ahead and take these out now, and then we're gonna start working on taking this off. All right, the next thing we gotta do is there is a little pin in there, and I don't know that you can necessarily get it focused right now, but I'm gonna use a screwdriver to pull it out a little bit. And then the pin is right back in there. So we're gonna take another screwdriver and push it loose. So there's the pin, and once it pulls off, then this handle just slides right off. And that that pin, you can kind of see the groove right there. Fits on each side. And then once it's off, then this just pulls right off. All right, the next step is to pull this loose. We actually have to take this part off first. This goes all the way up and over because it overlaps um, the part that we need to get to. I was not actually able to get this all the way off um, on the other door and so I was able I just had to get this area right here loose and that was enough um, to work with without having to take the whole thing all the way off we'll show you here in just a minute loose just over here and now I've got to take this bolt this bolt and this bolt loose once these three are loose then this part will kind of just fall back out of the way down and there'll be three more bolts that are holding the outside handle on. As you can see, it doesn't fall very far. It kind of just drops down a little bit, but it drops down just enough to be able to get to the bolts that we're gonna get through through these, these holes here. So we got a bolt that we're gonna reach through here, we got a bolt that we're gonna reach through here, and I think the other bolt is through there. I don't know if you'll be able to see right now. Alright, so there's one you can see. And there's one. And there's one other that I'm pretty sure um, you'll reach through this hole. So I'll show you here in a second. Friction. The third one is here. I, can kind of, I don't know if you can see where my fingers move. It's up there. The other one was up here. And then the other one is there that we looked at earlier. Alright, so this is the old one. It's loose. We've got the three 
bolt holes. The, you can actually break this off on this one. And when you do, this just pulls right off. You can throw that away now. This will come out. We don't want to lose that. There it is. So we're going to hook this to the new handle. Okay, so now I've got the new handle hooked there. Obviously, we don't want to break this one to get this into this slot. So, what we are going to do is pull this out. Snap it down through. And then this will just push right through there. And voila, it's in place. Now we'll just put everything back together. All right, I've got the outside stuff uh, bolted back in. Before I put this back in, I just wanted to show when I'm pulling the handle outside, it is working. So that is good. I'll put this piece back in, back in place, and pop this all back on and should be good to go. That is put back on. The only other thing that's kind of interesting, it's not really hard, it's just interesting, unique. You put that little clamp, just so it's sitting back on here, line it back up so that it'll slide on. Dada, can I lose my, my picture one? Push this up a little further. Dada, I my line it back up. And then just tap it on. It's good to go. Alright, so that's what it looks like. All done. Here's the first test. It works! Yay! So it goes open. And it latches. Alright, good. That's fixed. Fantastic. On to the next job.